rock star cartoonist by Michael Lyons. I watch the ripples change in size, but never leave the stream of warm impermanence. So the days flow through my eyes, but still the days seem the same, just the same, quite the same. Changes. David Bowie. Rockstar Cartoonist by Michael Lyons. Nineteen ninety nine. Where did I go wrong? I lost a friend somewhere along in the bitterness. David and I moved to Duluth and rent a sweet two bedroom apartment in a rent controlled artist co op. The ceilings are 30 feet tall. I think this must have been the shop or something. A month later, he moves into another unit in the building and stops all contact with me. He never tells me why. There's a guy painting a mural outside of the elevator doors. His eyes are red and glossy. He has a big stoner grin and seems friendly. Hi. I'm Warren. I get a job at the College of St. Scholastica in admissions and start traveling again. Don't speed. If a cop pulls you over, you'll smell the weed. Two thousand. They shed tears at the wintered turn of the centuries. October reunites for a big chill type weekend of booze, pot, women, and band practice. My little sister is basically our cook and maid. Most of the band develops a little crush on her. The final night we play to a packed audience at the North Shore Theater. Our name is displayed in huge letters across the marquee. We have a professional sound guy, lights, and a fog machine. It's glorious. October. When the guys leave the next day, I feel empty and sad. There's a guy at CSS named Clint Carlson who surprises me by sneaking in and sitting down in my office when I'm turned around. He's like Batman. Boo! He's really funny. He says he plays guitar too. I'm still smoking weed regularly and taking daily walks around town and through the trails. Oh, Natasha. I'm sensing that the boss is getting ready for one of those talks, so I apply for a job at UMD. Luckily, I get it, and I start working in the American Indian Learning Resource Room. 2000. 2001. I could make it all worthwhile as a rock and roll star. I've got a nice practice space set up in the living room. Sarah and Clint are really fun to play with, and I like writing songs with them. I name us Sweet Days, and we start playing local colleges and coffee houses. The job at UMD is just as dreary and miserable as, he, as any other place I've ever worked. But I show up dutifully most days, Rick seems less fond of me every month until one day the axe just falls. You're fired. Oh, thank God. Now what am I going to do? September 11th. Bridget calls. Michael, turn on the TV. Which channel? Any channel. Two thousand and two. I take these chances. Place them in a box until a quieter time. Lights down, you up and die. Clinton, Shauna, and I are the best sounding group I've ever been in. These songs are rich and beautiful, so we record our first real CD at this guy's home studio. We're like a family. I'm so glad I moved to Boulder with them. Two weeks later. So much for the family. Clint slept with Shauna and now she's moving back. I lecture Clint like a child for 45 minutes. 
Nice going, asshole. I'm really sorry. I never tell him uh, how jealous I actually am. We stopped writing songs together. I, I play for tips on the sidewalks and become friendly with the homeless people. There really isn't any difference in what we do. After a few months of temporary employment and day labor jobs, I land another admission jobs at the Buddhist college, Naropa. 2003, a figure sitting cross-legged on the floor. He's clogged and clothed in saffron robes. His beads are all he owns. I thought I'd be working with a bunch of peaced out Buddhists, but instead the Naropa, Naropa staff is frenzied group of yuppies. It's a stupid office job, but people work like their lives depend on it. I, I'm expected to work 10 to 12 hours a day. But I'm salaried. What's my motivation to do that? After a whirlwind recruitment tour of California, Washington, Oregon, and Colorado, and desperately trying to keep up with the boss's expectations, I am, once again, fired for good-natured incompetence. You're not working out as well as we had hoped. Now what am I going to do? 2004. I'm on my way, hey. I'm on my way, hey. Home sweet home. I'm back in Minnesota, and I work at the Leech Lake Tribal College. Benny Tones is a friend of my grandma's from way back in the day. He teaches Ojibwe language and music, and we start singing on the drum every day. LTC. Will St. Cyr is so awesome, he sounds like Tarzan. I've never been more self-conscious of my singing. 2. I joined my cousin's bar band and quickly learned 30 new classic rock songs. My Sunday afternoon practices in, Billy garages, in Billy's Garage are really fun, but I'm starting to hate playing out at these bars. You suck! Who cares what you bunch of alcoholics think anyway? I have a dream about Bigfoot and ask a medicine man what it means. Oh, that's a very special dream. Bigfoot's a spirit and he rarely lets people see him, even in dreams. He says, here's what I want you to do. Jimbo goes on to tell me that I have to go out in the woods for a four day vision quest. I'll have to go without food, water, and cigarettes. I don't know how to politely get the hell out of this. 2005. Tell me why I don't like Mondays. A 16-year-old kid went on a shooting rampage in Red Lake today. I'm sad all over. I can't think straight. My heart is broken in a brand new way. There's obviously no God, and I'm angry at myself for everything.